Hey folks and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of an opinion talking head video. So if you're just sort of listening to this, go ahead and feel free to do something else while you listen along. Though I am talking about graphics cards. Yet again, I know it's a it's a popular topic on this channel, but it's an important one. And specifically, we're talking about the GTX 10 series as well as the upcoming 11 series and whether I think you should jump on board with the 11 series when it launches or whether you should go ahead and pass. And I'm looking at it from the perspective of myself in which I own several 10 series cards. Um, as an enthusiast, I own a 1080 Ti. It's over here in my main system. I own this GTX 1070. This was actually my first 10 series card. Um, actually, kind of, th this is the replacement. My first one died. Um, it was an EVGA card and uh, it didn't have the thermal pads and it popped and there was like a blue puff of smoke and and well, anyways, it died. This was the replacement, but it was the first one that I actually purchased. And then I do own a 1060 as well. And I am not planning on upgrading in the near future to the 11 series, even when the full lineup, the 1180, 1170, 1160, all those cards, once they're out, I'm still not upgrading. So the reason I'm deciding not to upgrade right now is simply a price and performance uh, sort of melding together and just not giving me what I want. Now, true, you do have to wait for benchmarks and you do have to wait for the products to launch, but everything I'm hearing right now from the rumors of the uh, 11 series being priced higher than the 10 series with the goal of selling off those excess 10 series cards it makes me definitely want to wait a while um, because if I'm getting roughly the same performance or even a little bit better performance from the 11 series at the same price points of the 10 series, I still have to sort of fight this internal battle of the fact that the 10 series already does what I need them to do all across the board. From the 1050 Ti up, the 1050 Ti plays 1080p games very well. Um, maybe not at the maximum settings, getting 60 FPS with the uh, AAA titles that are brand new, but for the most part, you're getting very good FPS from the 1050 Ti. The 1060 will give you about 60 FPS on pretty much every title out there. I'm talking about the 6 gigabyte version. The 1070 over here over my shoulder, uh, 1440p gaming, it does great. Again, 60 FPS in pretty much every title. And then a 1080 Ti will get you up to ultra wide uh, 2K gaming or even 4K gaming. And sure, you might not quite hit 60 FPS in 4K gaming across the board, but I don't game at that resolution. I game at uh, 3440 by 1440 at my maximum, and if I'm getting over 60 FPS, I'm happy. Hey guys, editing Shane here, and I just wanna clear up this last point. I am not an eSports player, uh, for the most part anyways. I do play some Overwatch, I play some other sort of eSports titles, but I am not into the extremely fast-paced games like CSGO, where you can actually see very good latency benefits by having extremely high frame rates. Now, my perspective here is simply that by moving from a 10 series card, which is already playing those titles at very high frame rates anyway, to an 11 series card, you're going to see some very diminished returns and you are still shelling out a lot of money for some pretty limited returns. So my thought here is you're just better off upgrading a different part of your setup instead of upgrading your graphics. Now, if you're coming from an older generation graphics card, you can throw that out the window because you will see some bigger benefits from the 900 series, 700 series, 600 series on back, moving to the 11 series. This is just me talking about moving from the 10 series on up to the 11 series. And right now, I, I feel like we're at this point where um, the, the monitor technology um, of higher resolution, higher frame rate gaming, we're talking about 4K, 120 hertz or higher, it's, it's there now, it actually exists finally. Uh, with Asus having a model, uh, Acer having a model. I saw the Linus video with the Korean model as well. The problem is those those panels aren't affordable uh, to people, even like me. Like I I can't afford those panels, or I can't justify it at least just yet. Especially when there are 3440 by 1440p panels out there that are 
much more affordable and give you an excellent viewing experience. Because again, when we're talking about PC gaming, I'm, I'm sitting a couple few feet away from the monitor. It's not like in the living room where a 50 inch 4K TV makes a lot more sense because you're sitting so much further away. No, I'm sitting right next to this monitor and right now my GTX 10 series cards, all of the different displays they're uh, driving, they're all doing a great job and they're all doing it at 60 plus FPS. There's really just no reason for me to upgrade right now from the 10 series. So one last really compelling reason to pass on the 11 series cards, at least right when they launch and to wait a little while for them, is that they launch at very high demand points. So when the 10 series launched, the 1080s, 1070s, for a brief period there, a month or two, they were extremely hard to find just because they were sold out instantly. And when you did find them, they were priced way above MSRP. So even if Nvidia sets the MSRPs of these cards slightly higher than their 10 series counterparts, there's a decent chance the ones you'll actually be seeing available online will be considerably more expensive than the 10 series uh, counterparts and considerably more expensive than that MSRP. So that's something else to consider is always try to get those cards at or near MSRP. And if they're not there, you're probably just better off waiting a little bit until those prices do come down because they will come down. It may take a month or two, but they'll eventually settle in. Unless, of course, there's another mining craze and uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Now let's switch perspectives for just a minute and let's assume you're on the 900 series. Maybe you bought a GTX 960, 970, 980. I in fact bought a 970. I still have it laying around somewhere uh, in this uh, office, but you have a 900 series card and you were thinking, you know, I'll get the 900 series, I'll skip next year's 10 series, and then I will go ahead and get the 11 series when it comes out the following year. Well, you're obviously disappointed because the 10 series has been the only cards on the market from NVIDIA for the past couple of years. The 1070 and the 1080s are over two years old at this point. So if you're on a 900 or older series card, then sure, the 11 series might make a lot of sense to you. And if, if you're on one of those older cards, in fact, I would actually recommend recommend you go ahead and just make sure to wait until the 11 series comes out and then once it does come out probably wait a little bit longer until those 10 series cards are sold off and Nvidia can sort of settle the 11 series into the price points that it is actually targeting for those cards because if the goal of pricing the 11 series higher is to sell off those excess 10 series cards then once the 10 series cards are gone hopefully Fingers crossed here, NVIDIA goes ahead and drops those prices down to sort of fit in where they permanently want them to sit, at least over the course of the next year or so. And finally, I will leave you with this. If you are already happy with your graphics card, maybe you only have a 60 hertz display and you're already getting more than 60 FPS with all of your detail settings already maxed out, there really is no reason to upgrade your graphics card. Maybe even take this as an opportunity to upgrade other weaker parts of your system. I know there's a a lot of people out there that are still gaming on like Haswell generation Intel CPUs. Maybe you still have an FX generation processor from AMD. Maybe instead of upgrading the graphics side of your system, you take this as an opportunity to catch the rest of your system if it's not already caught up to the current generation of CPU tech, motherboards, uh, RAM, all those things. Maybe you catch the rest of the tech in your setup up to par with the 10 series or 900 series or whatever series you happen to be. Because again, if your graphics card is already outputting more FPS in the games that you play than your monitor can keep up with, you are gaining absolutely nothing by upgrading your GPU. Just my take on things. I do want to hear what you guys think about this. Let me know down below, are you upgrading to the 11 series? And if you are, definitely tell us what graphics card you're upgrading from because I'm fascinated to see who's upgrading and where they're coming from. And of course, if you like this video and you want to see more of it, give a like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Those help out the channel a lot. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.